Welcome back to the channel, in this video we are going to look at the following WWE news and rumors, Roman Reigns reaches massive WWE milestone, Paul Heyman blasts WWE Smackdown star after their talking smack interaction, WWE upset with a big name after his AEW appearance, Paul Heyman guarantees WWE fans that Daniel Bryan is leaving WWE, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more. Paul Heyman describes Cesaro as arrogant following their interaction on the latest episode of WWE SmackDown post-show Talking Smack. On this week's WWE SmackDown, Roman Reigns refused to grant Cesaro a match for his Universal Championship. Reigns will face Daniel Bryan on next week's SmackDown instead, with Bryan putting his status as a SmackDown star on the line. Heyman stated the following, Here's the problem, Heyman said, There's a pecking order around here, Roman Reigns is the tribal chief. You don't get to talk to Roman Reigns, you get to talk to the right-hand man, Jay, if Jay gives you permission, you get to talk to me, because I'm special counsel to the tribal chief, and if I approve, I counsel the tribal chief to accept an audience with you. See, whether I feel this way or not is irrelevant, in Roman Reigns' opinion. The words that come out of your mouth are not worthy of reaching his ears, I get it, you want his attention, but, at that point, Cesaro smiled and grabbed Paul Heyman's hand for the next 40 seconds, without saying a word. The Swiss Superman let go of Heyman's hand before walking off the Talking Smack set. In recent months, Paul Heyman has been complimentary about Cesaro's in-ring skills and potential as a future world champion however, his tone toward the seven-time WWE Tag Team Champion drastically changed on this week's Talking Smack. You know what Cesaro's problem is, Heyman asked, he's arrogant, who the hell does he think he is, huh, I'm not gonna pee him off, I've been pee people off in this industry for 34 years and in my life several years before that as well. Who the hell does he think he is coming out here and not letting me get underneath his skin? I'll get underneath your skin more than you understand I'll get under your skin. I'll make this real personal for you, when I offend you, you sell it. Cesaro previously worked as Paul Heyman's on-screen client in WWE from April 2014 to July 2014, Heyman's promos during his alliance with Cesaro often revolved around Brock Lesnar. At the time, Lesnar was taking a break from WWE television after defeating The Undertaker at WrestleMania 30. Roman Reigns has dominated the WWE roster ever since his return at WWE SummerSlam last year. Just a week after his return, Roman Reigns won the Universal Championship at WWE Payback 2020. No one has been able to take the title off of him yet. Earlier this month, Roman Reigns successfully defended his Universal Championship in the main event of Night 2 of WrestleMania 37, defeating both Edge and Daniel Bryan. Roman Reigns has now held the Universal Championship for 237 days in his current run. Before this, he won the Universal title at WWE SummerSlam 2018, he held the title for 63 days before he had to, unfortunately, relinquish it due to the return of his leukemia. Combining both of his title runs, Roman Reigns has now reached the milestone of holding the Universal Championship for a total of 300 days, only Brock Lesnar has held the title longer than him, for 686 days across three title reigns. WWE has announced a huge match for next week's episode of Friday Night SmackDown. On this week's episode of The Blue Brand, Roman Reigns gave Daniel Bryan a shot at the Universal Championship, but with a massive stipulation, as per the Tribal Chief, if Daniel Bryan loses the match, he will be banished from SmackDown. Daniel Bryan has been feuding with Roman Reigns for the last few months, he has had multiple shots at the Universal Championship, but hasn't been able to take the title off Roman Reigns yet. With the stakes so high, can Bryan finally dethrone the head of the table? If not, what will the future of Daniel Bryan in WWE be after getting banished from SmackDown? Comment down and let us know your predictions for Roman Reigns vs Daniel Bryan for the Universal Championship on WWE SmackDown next week. Snoop Dogg has had a long history of involvement with WWE. Not only did he grow up a wrestling fan, but his cousin, Sasha Banks, is one of the biggest stars in the company. Snoop was also inducted into the celebrity wing of the WWE Hall of Fame in 2016. Snoop Dogg even played a part in The Undertaker's retirement last fall, releasing a special line of t-shirts featuring himself and the WWE legend. So what could possibly upset this relationship between Snoop Dogg and WWE? Surprising some, Snoop made an appearance on the January 6th edition of AEW Dynamite titled New Year Smash, the appearance was due to his involvement on TBS Go Big Show series however, Snoop confirmed during a podcast appearance yesterday morning what many expected, 
WWE was not too happy about his television appearance for their rival. They felt some type of way, Snoop Dogg said on Hot 97's Ebro in the Morning podcast, he continued, let me tell you this, Snoop Dogg ain't no wrestler, he's bigger than that, you gotta understand that, this is the dynamics of what happened. I had a show on TBS called Go Big Show. So, Cody Rhodes was one of the judges on the show, and he's one of the top dogs at AEW, so, as a promotional vehicle for the gig, I went on AEW, Snoop Dogg said. Despite the television tie-in, it still surprised many that Snoop made the appearance, Snoop also recently remixed Cody Rhodes' AEW theme song, much in the same way as he did for Sasha Banks last year, Snoop confirmed what many had speculated about on the situation, hey, you running with them, we got to push pause on your ass for a minute, said Snoop. So, I stayed cool, they pushed pause for about two weeks, and then they go, hey man, we got this video game, and we need you. The video game is the upcoming release WWE 2K22, the trailer for the game debuted during WrestleMania 37 weekend. Paul Heyman has assured WWE fans that Daniel Bryan will lose his match against Roman Reigns on next week's episode of WWE SmackDown, after failing to win the Universal Championship at WrestleMania 37, Bryan now has another opportunity at Reigns' title in a one-on-one -on -one match, if Reigns wins, Bryan will be banished from SmackDown. Heyman, who serves as Reigns' special counsel, co-hosts SmackDown post-show Talking Smack with Kayla Braxton. On this week's episode, he warned those who want Bryan to win the Universal Championship. If Roman Reigns wins, and I assure you Roman Reigns will win, that's it for Daniel Bryan, Heyman said, he's out of here, he's not coming back like the Midnight Rider, he's out, O-U-T, gone, banished from SmackDown, no more Daniel Bryan, no more Bryan Danielson, no more American Dragon, no more of Brie Bella's baby daddy around here, gone, finished, kaput, out the damn window, in the history books, someone to remember when you say, tell me something about Roman Reigns and the people he victimized, that he imposed his will on as the tribal chief, the end all be all, the reinsing, defending, undisputed, uncontroverted, WWE Universal Heavyweight Champion, the head of the table. Speaking in a recent interview with BT Sport, Daniel Bryan said he is unsure where his future lies, the SmackDown star revealed he felt an odd detachment from his WrestleMania 37 match, he also confirmed that his contract is due to expire soon. In Night 2's WrestleMania 37 main event, Roman Reigns stacked edge on top of Daniel Bryan before pinning both men to retain his Universal Championship, before that, Bryan failed to win the Universal Championship from Reigns at WWE Elimination Chamber and WWE Fastlane. He also unsuccessfully challenged The Fiend Bray Wyatt at WWE Survivor Series 2019 and the 2020 WWE Royal Rumble, although Bryan has never won the Universal Championship, he is still a five-time WWE World Champion. He has held the WWE Championship on four occasions and the World Heavyweight Championship once.